Tequila, part two. So this is my um, little tutorial on how to play the solo from Tequila by Danny Flores. So as close to my ears can pick it out anyway. Here we go, on with the tutorial. Okay, so the first little bit you've got to get your head around is this B2 long B flat thing. Well, I think it's probably using long B flat. You can use side if you want to, but it's much easier if you go B with the octave key up there to B flat. So just that first bit, it's kind of in a So that's kind of the rhythm you've got to get your head around. The notes wise, just B to, that's basically B to A sharp or B flat. B, hit your F key down for long B flat, one of the um, one of the um, five most important B flat fingerings that we've talked about in the previous video. If you can't check that out, definitely do so. So B, B, A sharp, B, A sharp. B, da, ba, 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 ba. Then you're going to go up to high palm key D. But instead of just playing the two Ds on their own, what you're going to do is hit the C just before. D, palm key D. So, B, up to palm key D, C, palm key D again. C, D, B, F, A. That's the next bit. C, D, B, F, A. You're kind of a half turn there. F, G, F, down to D, then G. F, G, F, D, G. Let's do that steady, so it starts just after a, sort of on halfway through a bar, really. Right, then my does try to make that sound, what you need to do is really give that some. So, you, he, I think he's using flutter tongue there rather than growling, but to be honest with you, I can't actually roll my R's, so flutter tongue is pretty much impossible for me, unfortunately. But I'd growl it and you do get pretty close. It's still adding to that effect and making it sound nice and mucky and that's exactly what you're after in this. So B, A sharp, B, A sharp, and then the ending. Let's just do that together really slow. So also there's some scoops in there as well. Point that down. So just watch out for those scoops as well when you're wanting to try and emulate this as close as possible for recording. Um, it does lots of different things in there, especially with articulation. Your best bet is once you've got the notes down, Go and listen to the original and try and literally imitate these little um, these little nuances that he puts in if you want to make it sound exactly like the original. I think this is pretty close um, close um, version of it anyway. So this next section um, has a lot of repetition in it, but it's quite quick. So, so you have G A F, then you have this G A G F. It's like a half turn kind of thing. So the first one you have G A F, um, sorry G A G F, A G F. Then back to G A F again. G A G F. Then four of those. And at the end, G G F A F F D. So let's run that again slowly. G A F G A G F A G F G A G F 
Four of the GAFG, G-A-G-Fs. Then that ending. G, G, F, A, F, F, D. So that's it really slowly. So, how I suggest you practice this is probably um, add the um, back to front method, where we start from the ending, then add a group of that GAGF just before it. Add two groups. Add three groups. Just get yourself used to that going in succession and moving your fingers around that little hard section. It's really useful to practice from back to front. It's a very um, useful technique. All right, I'll next section. Okay, the next section starts with a high F, so one, two, three, and your top knuckle key. In the beginning of course, I will not have covered this, so um, just ca that's why I'm going over this note again. If you've been playing sax a while, then you'll know, probably know this note. So one, two, three, so it's all three palm keys there, playing it with the inside of my hand and my fingers. There's the palm, I'm using my palm to play as many of those notes as possible. Also keeping my fingers rounded, if you notice there. So I've got my hand flat, but my fingers rounded. And then my top right hand knuckle key, the top one. You've got B flat key, side C, top one is your high E. So I'm going to have all those three fingers. And growl it too. Then what we're going to do is a little bit of a trill. The trill is alternating between two notes. So what we're going to do is start on the F, go down to the E, which is just taking off the F key there, that palm key F key there, and I'm just going to alternate between them. And that's all we need. Make sure you're going da 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 so you got one, two, ba da 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 ba. So you've got to watch out for the timings on this, because it's kind of hard for me to do that in this exact video. When you put it together, make sure that you're doing the right number of trills and getting it copy and copy as close as you can. So up to F there, yeah, da 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 F E F E F E F E F E F E F E F E. Just wobbling that first finger like that. First thing, I mean second thing. And then he's got a gliss at the end. A gliss is basically, you play a palm key D, and then you run down pretty much a chromatic scale. You don't have to do the uh, chromatic scale exactly, so you don't have to go D, C sharp, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, F sharp, E. You can get away with doing um, just a few of them. And then we're going to move on to this next section. So you've done your gliss at the end. Again, gliss, um, again, um, flutter or growl, whichever you prefer, whichever you can handle nicely. Punky D, punky D. Again, it's kind of in a triplet idea. Ba, 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 ba. Same as those B, Bs to A sharps at the beginning. So that's D, D, C, B, D, B, C, B, F, A. D, C, B. D, B, C. B, F, A. Now a little turn again. G, A, G, F, D. G, A, G, F, D. And your final bit. A, G, A, G, F, D, D. A, G, A, G, F, D, D. Alright guys, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's a Sakaf Solo from Tequila. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do like below and please comment below if there's any questions or problems or concerns. 
It might be in this one. This is probably the hardest song. Well, by far the hardest song I've ever um, solo I've covered to date. All right then, guys. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.